Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Todd and this is Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. Um, today, I uh, took a little road trip from the hotel in Las Cruces and uh, I came over to Academy Sports in El Paso. So today I'm going to check out some smokers and uh, salivate over the stuff that we just don't get in California. I just think it's a pretty kick-ass store. Okay, so the first thing you notice about this place is it's huge. This place is about the size of a Walmart, and it's all devoted to sports and outdoors, Texas style, and I'm uh, pretty impressed. Um, well, they put all the barbecue and stuff way in the back. It makes you walk through all their stuff with, uh, you know, clothes and, you know, socks and stuff us guys don't really always shop for, you know, the important stuff. So I know I'm here to look at smokers, but the first thing that caught my eye is this uh, griddle here for 300 bucks. Um, it's really nice. I mean, for outdoor cooking, uh, you want to do stuff on the griddle. I mean, look at that price. Um, that's just an awesome price. Uh, it's Outdoor Gourmet. Uh, I've never never heard of that uh, brand before, but it's uh, good looking stuff. So, uh, you know, if I wasn't flying here and flying home, you know, I'd be packing this thing up in my car right now. So something that we, uh, in my part of California, have a hard time finding is nice full logs of hickory and cherry and, and some other nice uh, uh, logs like that. These look like about 12 inch pieces, which would be perfect for an uh, offset smoker. Um, and they, they got pallets of this stuff here. And if you want charcoal, they got that too. They got everything. And of course, pellets. Yeah, this section really got me excited here. Uh, I found a uh, a uh, pecan, bag of pecans just sitting there, and uh, got it, I want to take it home. And of course, they got some stuff that I'm familiar with, smaller chunks, maple, apple, post oak, which is white oak. Uh, they got the mesquite uh, and the hickory. Mesquite's a little harsh for me. Uh, I prefer hickory if I'm gonna go something along that line. Is that, is that where mesquite comes from? And you need a cover. They got those too. Now this is something that Harry Sue might find interesting. Uh, he's with Slap Your Daddy Barbecue and I found some Slap Your Mama. Maybe that's a long lost cousin. I'm going to try some of this sometime. It's uh, pink salt or sodium nitrate. Uh, it's really good, mix it in, it uh, really takes a tough piece of meat, helps tenderize it, really brings out that flavor. So I'm really impressed with a lot of the smokers here. Uh, I'm going to take a look at a few right now, show them, show them to you guys, see what you think, and then I'm going to end with the smoker that I wish I had. So I guess we'll start with the common one. Uh, we all know about the Pit Boss pellet smokers. You can find these in, uh, in Southern California, no problem, Central California. It's kind of cute here is this little tiny one. I'm going to venture to say 300 bucks is a pretty good price for an entry level pellet smoker. Uh, this is something you could even modify, take tailgating, I'm sure. Not bad. And we got this outdoor gourmet. Nice size hopper. Now this is a pellet grill that is fashioned after an offset smoker. Got a nice large cooking area. Looks like the racks are uh, not really meant to be slid out. I'm just kind of fixed in place. Um, it's got a nice little shelf. So, 500 bucks. That's a really good price. Now this little one is about the size of my Traeger. Um, but it's a uh, Triton HD pellet grill, 300 bucks. 
I mean, my Traeger is about this size. Let's say my uh, my hopper is a little bit bigger. This is a pretty small hopper. You'd definitely be reloading your pellets on a regular basis with this thing. But uh, I don't know anything about this brand, but uh, it's called Outdoor Gourmet. Not a bad looking little pellet grill. Nice looking vertical smoker. Now this one might look like a smoker, but it's actually a, a grill. Um, it's got the big old stack, wagon wheels, pretty large grilling area, top and bottom. You could smoke in this, you'd have to get creative. Looks like it has a charcoal tray down the bottom. Nice smokestack out the side. So this is something uh, new to me. I did not know Kingsford made grills. This one's called the Bronco Barrel Charcoal Grill. $119. Not bad. Kind of looks like a charbroil. Got a little baby one. 100 bucks. Alright, so I finally found the All American Old Country Barbecue Pits uh, that I was looking for. It's a thousand bucks. And uh, which is a great price for a quarter inch uh, smoker. Um, unfortunately, this is the last one they have. It's been sitting out for about a year as a display model, and it's got a lot of rust on it. Um, also, unfortunately, due to Proposition 65 that California has, um, Academy Sports has uh, suspended shipping these things to California because they need a warning label, uh, apparently. So, uh, read out about it. Uh, Proposition 65, I think it's stupid. That's crazy. So right off the bat, you should know this is solid quarter inch steel. Um, really nice and thick. You see right there. Um, it's got a grilling grate in the smoke chamber, or the fire box, and it's also got a charcoal grate. It's not a very thick charcoal grate. You could always replace it with something. Got a nice little damper here. Anyway, it's got a little warming table up top. It's got a nice uh, folding shelf. A lot of cooking surface. It's got two slide out shelves. Um, you got two different cooking zones, hotter up top. What I like about these is you can barely see it there. There's a little baffle so that you don't see the fire chamber directly, which is good. Um, it kind of helps prevent having a hot spot in this area here closest to the firebox. People tend to stack up their meat closer to the stack, the chimney. Um, if tuned correctly, you know, you can, you can avoid that. Uh, you could probably make your own tuning plates here and uh, Probably easy to do. It's got a. It's equipped for a thermometer. Now, the uh, old country barbecue pits don't come with thermometers, but it comes with the uh, spot to screw one in. The smokestack's pretty huge. Um, you know, when you smoke, you go wide open. Definitely plenty. It's got a little rack at the end and for shipping it has a tie down 
And of course the wagon wheels. I think if I bought this I would probably add heavy duty casters to the front. Again, it's the All American smoker. Okay, so I think I found a solution to my uh, smoker woes. Um, now, although the store can't ship to California without the uh, required Proposition 65 warning labels attached to it, um, there, there's nothing preventing me from coming up here with my personal truck and buying it and just taking it back to California. So um, it's, it's probably what I'm going to do. I'll be back here probably in late April. So I'm going to just have to arrange for uh, driving my truck out here for work uh, and then uh, on the way home uh, swinging by here and just throw it in the back of the truck with the help of you know, a forklift and uh, take it back to California. So until then, take care. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you like this video and uh, leave your comments or questions. And uh, if you're from California and you know where these things are, are being sold in California, um, let me know. Because um, other than Lowe's and Home Depot, um, there's, there's really not any other choices we have. So anyway, until then, see you. Okay, so bonus footage. Uh, Old Country Barbecue Pits also makes this All American Angus smoker with a, uh, a nice large uh, vertical smoker. Definitely be nice. So, so something I found kind of interesting these things come pre seasoned. Um, I would probably re-season it before I use it first, but um, it's already sprayed down with something, some kind of um, oil or something in here. So, um, same features as the All American uh, quarter inch construction. Um, you can see right in there into the, uh, the vertical smoker. It's a pretty nice pit, fifteen hundred bucks. Firebox is square, quarter inch. And it's got a direct grilling grate, with a heavy duty charcoal tray. Looks like that's a uh, solid quarter inch charcoal tray. And I really like that baffle. I think these are about uh, five inch dual stacks. So I stand corrected, 3 16th inch steel construction. I would say the wheels probably need to be replaced. This thing's got to weigh a lot 